it's uncommon to have three Division I players on a public high school basketball team in the Midwest. The teams that have had that are recognized as basketball schools. It's happened in a number of places throughout our state. It's never happened to Staley. In the fall of 2016, Coach Williams and myself were hired to become the assistant and varsity head coach at Staley. A lot of people were like, don't take that job. That's, that school is just dominated by football, wrestling, and baseball. There's, there's no history of basketball there. And when we got here, we noticed that there wasn't a boys basketball banner anywhere. You know, we saw it as an opportunity to maybe, okay, if there hadn't been basketball here, let's get people excited about basketball in this area and to maybe we can change some things. You know, maybe see it as more of a, a challenge. So our third season at Staley, the 2018-2019 season, the seven years I've been here, that was the only year we had a losing record. But it was honestly the year that everything changed. That following summer, we inherit a group of incoming freshmen full of promise with Kyan Evans and Caden Fish and Jared Lee and, and Larry Parker. So. Here we go. Let's get this going. Here we are this year in the fourth year of the, the group of seniors that we have, in the seventh year of my tenure as head coach, and trying to continue the process. The other thing that, that's different is what we've done to our schedule and what we've been allowed to do by way of having great players. We've tried to schedule as tough as we can schedule. So we would play, we decided we're going to play anyone and everyone that we can possibly play. We also are playing the whole entire season under some pretty large expectations. And so now the expectation is, you know, we, we want to win a title. From Staley High School in the Northland, it is a matchup of number one versus number two. The number one ranked Staley Falcons against number two Oak Park, the Northmen. So, as important as this game is, let's get to some real business before we start here. Are y'all coming to the party yes. or not? Yes. 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 Right? Yes. You got the invite? Yes. You got an invite? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Invite. Birthday party. Right. You see? Come to Olive. Yep. Yeah, that's all. Olive. 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 It is here, right? Oh, I hope it's a happy birthday, dang it. Birthday party comes to Olive. How are you feeling on the sky? You good? Yeah. Good. It's going to take everybody in here. It's going to take the whole crew, from starters to bench to, to quarter breaks to coaching staff to our fans to everything. It's going to take everybody tonight. It's going to take an unbelievable effort. But you're up to the challenge. You're prepared for this. And the greatest thing you got going for you is each other. That's what you have more than anything else is each other. You have each other to depend on and count on and play for and play with. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Anything else? No. Let's go. It's early in the season, Michael, but what a matchup this is. Yeah, you can't ask for a better early season matchup than this. And these two teams know each other very well. They play against each other in the summertime, but it's nothing like an in-season rivalry to kick it off this season. We had a packed house in our gym. We had to turn away people who wanted to see it. It had huge meaning and every implication of being a future playoff type game. Well, you can feel the electricity in the building. Staley has three Division I signees on their team. Caden Fish, Cam Manuel, Caden heading to Iowa State, Cam heading to Indiana State, Kyan headed to Colorado State. Oh! And then Fish with the follow, Caden Fish. And that's a miss. Wilson to Manyal. 
Cameron Manuel now with five of his team's seven points in this game. Under three minutes of play in the first quarter. Been moving the lane. Uh-uh. Not tonight, big guy. Man, that's what he does. Winston Allen is a beast. Uh-oh. Evans from way outside, and Adam Tanner picks up the loose ball. Falcons will inbound it. Get back inside the fist, the turnaround, and he's fouled. It counts. Right, here come the Falcons on the run. They've got the numbers. Cam Yow. Oh, Cam man. Wow is wow. Cam Woo. Wow is right. Running the floor. We got a timeout by Oak Park. We can run Bulldogs. And it's going to be beautiful. It would just happen and happen and happen and happen and happen. And wow, who just had the big dunk. Caden Fish. Evans way outside. Oh, the three out there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Watching something happen. You're the one watching. Oh man, that's me. You can't be that guy. You cannot be that guy. You cannot be late on rotations. You cannot be late in help. You cannot be. We're going at each other. It's physical. It's competitive in the lane. It's crazy for loose balls and rebounds. You gotta win them. And you gotta secure them with two hands. You gotta bend your knees. You gotta grit your teeth and you gotta go through people. They're good. You're gonna have to do things right. You're gonna have to go down and hit the pad. You're going to have to set good screens. You're going to have to cut hard. You're going to have to pass like a man. That's what's going to have to happen. You know, to beat them. I mean, you have to play. So I can't wait to watch it. Let's go. Okay, I can't wait to see it. Let's get it. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're throwing 3-1, 2-3, 2, three, one, two, three, two. Yeah. Staley Falcons leading after the first half, 24-15. to The third foul, I think, and this will be big against Winston Allen. Down low battling with Caden Fish, and that is huge as he is one of the only players along with Dane Gok who can guard this big fish. Oh, what a ball fake there. Nice pass down low to Man yet Manuel. And, oh, that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Yeah, long court pass the other way. Look at the hands of Caden Fish. Yeah, he's on his head. I mean, he got mossed right there. Evans, Wilson, Xavier Wilson, the basketball. Left side corner. Has a three out of the corner. Xavier Wilson. Manuel looking for a little back door on the yeah, sideline. Yeah, good there. cut. Good cut by KB Stone. Another one. Oh, and the bucket. KB Stone. Blocked from behind. Alley, alley, oop! Eighteen point advantage now for Staley. Oh, nice pass inside to Manuel. He's got the soft hands and the soft touch. That's a great block by Xavier Wilson. What a pass by Larry mm. Parker to Kyan Evans. Yeah, it's getting out of hand a little bit now. But look at Xavier Wilson. With that rebound, Jared Lee, he's open from three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man, look here, look here. That's a young sophomore right there. Now 
Evans on the base. Right. Oh, he went for it. I mean, if you go, go, go all out, young fella. Man, and this is getting out of hand. 26 point lead for Staley, and no answer from Old Park. Number one, Staley handles. Number two, Oak Park, 64-36. And in the first four games, you've beaten some really good teams by scores that bother other people. It, it, it bothers them. And I promise you, as much as you want to think that you're done with them, you, I, like I told Kyle to come up for, we're going to have to beat them again. We're going to have to beat them again. <coughs> and the shots that don't fall might fall. <coughs> We got so much more. And we're going to need so much more to do all the things that you have visions of doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of how hard you play. And I've told you that for four straight games. I, told you, I think you play really, really hard. And your effort has been tremendous. And I thought your attitudes have been really good as well. So ever and attitudes, things you're in control of, have been really good. Been really, really good. But we can we can get better. We can do so many better things, and that, that's what the film study's for. That, that's what the practices are for. That's what the togetherness, the bonding, all that's for. That, okay. One of the originals. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Bam. D up, D up. The biggest tournament in the Kansas City area, the most well known Kansas City area tournament. The William Jewell Holiday Classic, and has been for years. Then when we got to Staley, we weren't in the William Jewell Tournament, and you know we're one of the biggest schools in the Northland, and so it was important that we got into the Jewell Tournament. Our second or third year here, I think we maybe won a game. I think we maybe won a game, and we're excited because we had never won a game in the William Jewell Tournament because Staley had never been in it. For the first time, we're going to get a first round bye in the Holiday Classic at William Jewell. So we're not going to play three games, we're only going to play two. So we're immediately moved into the semifinal round. So we played Blue Springs in the semifinal game, which is our fifth game of the year, and it's December 29th. You logged into your account? You were sweat, <laughs> for. I transferred over to Staley my seventh grade year, and then we moved like right before I got to high school, so yeah, so then I've just been at Staley ever since. Kyan Evans, you know, he's, he's, he's so funny, <laughs> so funny, so charismatic. He's, he's kind of our Pied Piper. Generally, people follow him. He's our point guard, 6'2" going to Colorado State, you know, he's probably won every award that you could ever imagine in high school. I give all credit to, I mean, Staley, Mocan played a part, but I will say Staley, Coach Neff, Coach Will, they did. I mean, without them, I definitely wouldn't be here, so they definitely made a big change in my basketball career. After the live in, uh, Everybody go tapping with the recent on post after, but uh, without further ado, uh, this upcoming fall I'll be attending Colorado State. Yeah. Why would you say you chose CSU as a Colorado State as your mm -hmm. place to play basketball? Uh, I would say mostly the coaching staff. Uh, I'm, I had a great connection with them, and then. Uh, just everything about them benefited me. Uh, their play style, where they, where they're like the Mount West is crazy good. So, just being a part of that and what they have going on now, they're already on the come up. I think the best part about Kai is he's the kind of player that could score 40 points a game, but he's not gonna he's not gonna approach the game that way. He's gonna play it the right way. He's gonna get his teammates involved and get them touches. So that's that's always fun. When, when we um, moved here 
we started going to watch the Jewel um, tournament, and that's what we used to do: is go and watch some of the best talent around the city um, doing their warm-ups in the halftime, and couldn't believe that these kids could dunk like this or, or play like this. And now it's him. Nine years running of being in the in the Jewel, and uh, if they win tonight, this will be six six championships for the Evans family, two for Caden and four for. Um, four for Kai, so we're hoping tonight we can finish it off. We're going to play in, this ch in the championship game for the fourth straight year. So the, the senior athletes that I currently have are playing in what is the chance to win 10, 11 straight games that William Jewell have never lost a high school basketball game in the William Jewell tournament. We all obviously know we have to win this. You know, I want to do the, the Gatorade splash again, a little, you know, water surf in the locker room, dance parties. So we just knew coming into that game what we have to do to get, you know, the ultimate goal. Kyan Evans, a, a senior point guard of ours, has been on the all-tournament team three times in a row. And here we go into an opportunity for Kyan to be a four-time all-tournament team member. Oh. Our, our program to be a four-time William Jewell champion. We're not getting to the game, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to stay here. Let's just drive. I was saying on me now. I'm just at Home Depot. Grab it. Come on, we gone. This is how we do it. We late, cuz. Oh, God! Oh, God, I'm in sweats with it. Forget the locker room. We in pants. Hurry up. Hey, just, bro, I'm going to warm up in some pants, bro. I'm saying I'm warming up in some pants, bro. We have no balls. Oh, my God. Bro, they sabotaged us, bro. They did come get us, so we had to drive, so we hella late. This is some real Jay, AAU Jay. type. Jay. 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 You're going to play Liberty North. Well, William Jewell's in Liberty. The Liberty schools, Liberty North, Liberty High, have always been well represented at that tournament. It's 12 to 3, straight up, it's 12 to 3. And here's what I mean by that, and this is what you need to understand. It's 12 to 3. We've made 12 shots in this game. They've made three. But the spread's 18. The spread ain't 9, it's 18. 
12 shots made, three shots made. And you already know we left a bunch out there. And we left a bunch of points out there. We got enough to win right now. For real. We got enough to win right now. With that being said, there's more out there. But defensively, man, I, I'm, I'm okay with what happens offensively if you defend like we do right now. Because offensively, it's going to come. Hey, work one, three, one, two, three, work. But let's, let's, let's move. You don't have to have the ball to be a great player in this game. It's going to come to you. It's going to find you. There's too many easy passes. Jared is hugging his man to death. He is hugging him to death. Get a catch, Zay. Point, Zay. Good. Oh, look at me. Got him. Hey, they got him. Let's go. Let's go. He's got him. It's in his, it's in his hamstring. Hey,